Okay, it's a couple days later, and I need to uh, measure for drilling before I cut the inside, or mill the inside of the new shell. Now usually when I do this, I have either brand new hardware or a used snare drum, and the used snare drum would provide the, we sort of cannibalize it and use the hardware from the snare drum, which is sometimes cheaper than getting all new hardware for the new drum. This time I kind of have both. I have a brand new drum. It's quite a lovely Tama drum. Of course, it has very nice hardware. But all of this hardware, the hoops, the strainer, the lugs, the tension rods, are going to go on the, the new shell.
Yeah, go ahead. It's a bummer that that space is too narrow to fit the power sander. <laughs> All those little burn marks to get out. It's going to take a long time. Found a solution. Okay, so got a uh, bit of sandpaper wrapped around a hole saw held in place with some carpet tape. And I'm making relatively quick work of the problem. Trying new things with a build project and pretty much doing that with almost every drum that I do, doing something new, something different, will always, it seems, result in some hiccup or problem to solve. This has a combination mistake and opportunity. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so here's the shell. Here I've got it mocked up with uh, the strainer and one of the lugs. Um, the idea with this drum was to have the lugs offset and this buyer likes to have um, air vents all the way around, small unadorned air vents and we wanted to stagger them. So lug, lug, vent, lug, lug and so on. Now the problem with that is we weren't sure, I wasn't sure when I started drilling the holes where he would want the strainer. To me, it made sense to have the strainer evenly spaced between the top lug and the bottom lug, sort of split the difference to have that diagonal line. Um, he decided he didn't want that, and that he instead wanted it evenly spaced between the two bottom lugs, which is just fine. It's his drum. The problem is I already drilled the hole for the, uh, for the strainer. That was a big mistake because uh, it, well, it was stupid, really, because the problem with having the lug or the, the, the strainer center between the top and bottom lugs is that it would not then be in line with the openings in the, in the, bottom, in the bottom hoop. We'd have to make custom hoops or use two top hoops and drill holes in the hoop for the, uh, the, the strings for the snares. So really, this makes more sense. However, there's one more problem. Let me show it to you. See that? There's, not, there's no clearance there. So what I need to do is I need to make a razor, or a riser, sorry, a riser, to bring this out a quarter of an inch. That'll give me enough clearance. So a quarter inch riser, and I'm gonna make the riser wide enough on the bottom that it covers that hole. So I'll have be a sort of an inverted, you know, one disc that way, not disc, but sort of a, a spacer that way, and I'll have the same spacer on the other side for the butt end of the snare assembly, and then we just want additional small piece up here. Um, 
So I think that will look nice. The problem is that this wider piece is gonna have to be radiused. Okay, so one other thing. This drum's old. <laughs> this shell, blank, was old. I built, did it over two years ago. I, it was a miracle that I found some more of the same wood. I, don't, I, I think I was going to use this for my djembe, and so I glued up multiple woods, uh, scrap pieces of scrap wood, and this right here, this chunk, this layer right here, is the same wood. So really lucky that I was able to find a piece of the same stuff. I'm going to cut off a one inch chunk right there, so the grain remains vertical for the spacer, the riser, and uh, mount it up on this which is a six and seven eighths inch radius, which will give me the right, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's the right radius for the snare drum. Okay, that's it. It's not my favorite look in the world, but it does the job. You can see there's more than sufficient clearance now. I didn't want it to be too close, so I went ahead and uh, that's a uh, three eighths of an inch. So give it an extra eighth of an inch.
say it again. This is my disclaimer. I'm not a serious drum set player. Um, certainly not a soloist. <laughs>